Games often have a lot of content, that is stuff like enemies, items, character classes, resources, spells, dignity, dialogue trees, buildings, cards, outfits, tetris pieces, etc. And while some content makes sense to lay out in like scenes for level building, a lot of it really doesn't. Maybe you want a piece of content to be stored and shared across the hierarchy or in multiple scenes. Maybe you don't want to slot it into the scene structure at all, or have it run and update every frame, or give it a transform with a position. Yes, it makes sense to have a scene with nodes that represent furniture on your spaceship, but do you need a node to store the concept of wizard at position 000? Ridiculous. Resources don't have that functionality, they're just data containers. Well. They can actually be a lot more than just data containers, but to start with, we can think of custom resources as lightweight ways of storing data in a semantically satisfying way. So let's think of content as data that is separate from the mechanics or the functional part of your game, as well as any transient state. Although a lot of content, and think of spells in an RPG or card effects in a trading card game, blur the line by having a lot of really specific functionality. Can custom resources support that? Hell yeah! I'm going to talk about how you can build massive amounts of complex game content with resource types and why you should do it. 